I'm Ron. Terry, we're back. Today we're doing bargain and butts. Yes, we are. And we're doing peanut butter. Now, we decided to do it. What are we going to call this one, Terry? Uh, triple threat. Triple threat. Or a three way. Whichever you prefer. Which, I think this might be Terry's first three way. Might be, I'm not sure. <laughs> this you is my first three way. Uh, is with, it really? with, with another guy, anyway. Well, not with peanut butter. works. Not with peanut butter. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to ask you. <laughs> Okay, we've got three different brands. We've got Peter Pan. Yep. Which was two fifty. So is it your first one with Peter Pan? Well, let's see. Okay. Peter Pan was two fifty, which was sixteen point three ounces, which was fifteen cents an ounce. Okay. Okay, roughly. <clears throat> Next one is Clover Valley. Right there. That was sixteen ounce jar. And anybody that doesn't know this is do uh, Dollar General brand. Dollar General brand. Very important. I did not know that. That was two dollars. Which makes it about 13 cents an ounce. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, all right, here's the Peter Pan. Just showing you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Let's just brown me. Yeah. Not about peanut butter. Yeah. I don't know. And if you, you know, there's the clover. Mm -hmm. Not much difference if you ask me. Last one is the Green Briar Farms. This came from Dollar Tree. And Terry will show you it. It is 12 ounces. It's a small jar, of course, and it was a dollar, and it kind of being like a little over eight cents a jar. We'll just say nine cents an ounce, basically, okay. uh, is what it was. So now I'll do the taste test because we gotta have somebody uh, delve it out. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna have plate three spoons, put a spoonful of peanut on each one, piece of paper underneath labeling A, B, C for which one. For the taste At that test. Point, Terry is going to come back into the room, taste the peanut butter, and tell us which one you like better. Yep. Now we'll have Terry first smell the spoon of peanut butter. And Ron will, be, if Ron will smell the jar when I, while I'm smelling the peanut butter. What, and we'll both decide what, what smells like, what smells the best, which one smells most appetizing. We'll check and see which one looks the oiliest. Yeah. Which one has a lot of oil in it, because sometimes they get a little bit oily. Yeah, they do. Either so peanut oil or whatever, what kind of oil is in there, it gets a little oily. And third, Terry's going to tell us which one has the best, smoothest taste. Now you're looking for something. You, you're a peanut butter aficionado. I like peanut butter, yeah. So would you say you like peanut butter that's real sticky, that sticks to you when you swallow it? Or you want something that goes down pretty smooth and you don't have to drink a half a gallon of milk to chase it down? I don't want something that I have to drink half a gallon of milk to chase it down. Now you've had that kind of peanut butter yes, before, right? That, that's the... Not fun to eat, right? No, yeah, not too much. No. So we're going to give a quick few seconds. Terry's going to go in the other room. And I'm going to get the get stuff ready. ready. We'll be back. And we're back. Uh, Terry, if you want to come in and try out the peanut butter. Okay, cool. Now we've got the plate. Three spoons. Three, it looks like about the same amount of peanut butter. And I've got the spoon. paper labeled ABC right here. But underneath the napkin is the which one is which. Okay, I'm so, just going to slide directly towards me so we don't okay. lose what's what. Alright, so if you want to try from A, try spoon A. We're going to go with spoon A first. And you do I'm have some going... water. Yeah. It smells kind of peanut, peanut y. Oh, yeah, very happy to peanut smell. It has a peanut flavor to it. Okay, now it just, does, does it have an oily taste at all, like a peanut oil? Yes, it does have a peanut oil taste. You can definitely taste the peanut oil. Now, does that make it smoother to go down? Yes, it does. That was actually a very smooth bite of peanut butter. Good. Still, not a bad peanut butter. Pretty good. Okay. Really smooth, gotta say. All right. Great. It has it sticking to the spoon. And it's... Give one good lick on it. And... Okay, so the... that's pretty good. Didn't stick too much. No, and that, like I said, I don't even need water to get that whole spoon of peanut butter down. That's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty That's, that's pretty wild. There. All right, now let's try B spoon. Spoon B. All right, how did it smell? Smell. Oh, whoops. You smell anything? Oh, a very faint peanut smell. Not as strong as the first one. No, not near as strong. This has more of a, I don't know, it's not, I don't taste the peanut E taste as much as it. it I can tell it's peanut butter. Okay. Duck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's peanut butter. But give us a big spoon, man. See what you think. Can you taste? It's good. It's not as smooth as the other. Was well, it's easy to go down. 
Okay. It's, still, it's sticking a little bit worse. Now, there's a peanut oil taste to it. You have a peanut oil taste at all? Or is it faint? People that eat peanut butter know that peanut oil well, taste. Yeah, I know it's dumb. Yeah, yeah and so I, I'm just telling I people. I can taste oh. it. Uh huh. But it's not stronger than the last. Okay. That's the lick taste. Now, you need water to wash that down? I wonder. <laughs> now. I feel like you're choking it down a little bit there. It looks a little thick. That peanut butter seems a little thick there. That one was actually a lot thicker than the second. The now, first. is that for you a plus or a negative for a peanut butter sandwich guy? Now, me, personally, I like the peanut butter to go down pretty easy, and I, I like Ron said, you don't need a gallon of milk to take it down. So. Now, for peanut butter and jelly, so far, which one would you pick? For peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which one? I like I like this one. A. And I, I like this one, don't get me wrong. It's still a good peanut taste. Thick, though. But it's kind of thick. Okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. In other words, it's not the taste, more the consistency. Thickness of it. Right, Stick, right. Stickiness, I guess, yes. or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. The, I would call it consistency, or like Ron said, the stickiness of it. It's just a little thick to me. Mm -hmm. And that's the only, only real big issue I have with it. Now, for it, like I said, a jelly sandwich. You're saying probably A would probably get a little, yeah. squeak it a little over top of that. One. Yeah, just because it would go down a little bit easier. Gotcha. Because you know the jelly's going to tone down the peanut butter sound. Yeah. And you're not going to taste, and the and peanut butter, you know, it's peanut butter. Yeah, it's peanut butter. All right, let's hit number spoon C. Oh, smell. Oh, well. I'm not smelling. No, no, it doesn't smell like peanuts at all. Too much at all. Uh -uh. Good taste. It's actually pretty smooth. Does it have a peanut oil taste or an oil taste in it? It has some oil taste to it. Okay, now we noticed in the three we opened, we didn't see any kind of oil in it at all. It didn't no. look oily in here. Because I've seen peanut butter I've opened before, and you have a little bit of oil feel. Yeah, I've seen that. On the top. And, right? I, and that's a minus for me. Yeah, definitely. You want to look, look clean when you open yes, it. Yes, I do. Now, that one right there, that was just a good lick on it. That was, you got. I thought that one was pretty good. Right. I liked it better than I did B. Okay, so you like, in your order, what you like, your preference. I would go A, C, B. A, C, B. Wow, okay. Well, let us reveal what were they were. A, which Terry said was the best one, was actually the Clover Valley. That's, that's, that's pretty shocking. And that is the Clover Valley. And that was actually one of the smoother ones. I thought the Peter Pan would be the smoother one. Uh, B was Peter Pan. Get which was out. a little thicker and not as uh, going down as smooth as the others. C was the Dollar Tree brand. Oh, okay. The Greenbrier wow. Farms. So, uh, this week it looks like uh, you picked your A one. Yeah, and it looks like a bargain. Yeah, definitely the bargain went out. All right. Our first three-way. And the bargain wins. The bargain wins. Uh, yeah, we, so we're sorry, Peter Pan. Just not, you're just not our winner. You just didn't week. make it with the jelly. No, you didn't make it out. They, so these didn't make two it out with the jelly. actually was able to take it. Yeah, they, they did the they did the job. Yeah, they did what we needed them to do, and they even kind of looked kind of similar tops. Yeah, see, they, they share tops. Yeah. So what do you think? There you go. I'm, I'm going to actually see if Ron can taste them and give me his opinion. That sounds good. But uh, and what I can, what we'll do is we'll shoot a little bit after that and tell you what he thought. All right, sounds good. Back, Ron's getting ready to do the taste test. Yes, I'm getting ready to take my test on the uh, three-way. Yes, he is. Right, this is uh, Spoon A. This is Spoon A. A little thick there, it looks like. A little peanut butter. He has a... Uh, looks peanutty. Not too bad. A little... To me, it's too thick, but I'm like I said, I'm not a big peanut butter guy, but... Peanut butter's real thick to me, so this is not bad. Now is it too thick? Is it? Does it taste overly thick? Mm. It's a little thick. Where I'd have to have something to drink to wash it down. Okay. It's a little thick for that. So a, it was a little thick for. A little thick for me. There's, there's the spoon that he's done. He did the lick, just like me. All right, Ron, you want to move on to B or C? Next? I'll go with B. Now, how often do you eat peanut butter, Terry? Uh, at least once a week. Once a week. At least. Wow, that's pretty often. Me, I'm a once a month probably guy. Well, I, I know people that's once a day. Wow. How's this one? This one went down a lot easier. 
Pretty smooth? Yeah, very smooth, I think. So this one's pretty really smooth, less thick, went down a lot better. Yeah, I have to drink nothing for that one. I ate the whole spoonful at once. He ate the whole spoonful at once. What did you think about the smell? It smelled great. It smelled mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Okay. To me, they're it's all good. about... And I said, this one don't smell too bad. Not a, not a strong peanut smell, but... This one's a little thicker, but not as thick as A8. To me, seemed thicker. They seem the thickest. Mm -hmm. But it's, this is still thick. Might yeah. need something to drink with it. Probably need something to drink with it. It's not that bad. Not as bad as A. A was to me was thicker than me. Okay. What did you think? Now, being a being a guy that doesn't eat a lot of peanut butter, mm -hmm. but you do, but he's a casual guy. Mm -hmm. From a casual standpoint, hey, what do you like about your peanut butter? How do you um, like it? To make the thick it sticks to you? <clears throat> or something that's smooth? And I'm going to have the smooth, creamy kind. It just goes right on down. Okay. So and I have to say B, to me, was the one that did that. that B was, was the best. To me, it was. Yeah, that okay. Was for me. Number two. Which was, let me move it. The Clover Valley was number, was wow. the, was his best. Okay. And Peter C, Pan was, C was, was, it's number two, Peter mm -hmm. Pan. A was the, the dog dog trooper. Man. To me, the A, to me, A one seemed thicker to me. I didn't but. think it was as thick. Maybe it was just a got, well, got on the spoon. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I, said, I definitely had to have some drink after that one. First yeah. one but, you know, as we talked about, as you talked about, you know, the Clover one was your pick. Yeah. You know, the dog tree was right next, but it was a little thicker, but not as thick as the Peter Pan. Ours was just too much. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's really not, and that's really a, a thing of uh, opinion. That's why I really wanted Ron's mm -hmm. opinion on this, because that makes sure. But it looks like the winner, the clear cut winner. <laughs> Both times. It's been the Clover Valley. So if you want a peanut butter that's smooth, not as thick where it sticks to you going down, and you're going to wash it down with a bunch of water and drink and everything. Milk, that's, whatever you yeah, want with it. That's definitely the one to go that's for. That's the one. That we both ate the 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 Clover Valley and didn't eat anything to drink with it. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us. No, I think it's a definite winner right there. That's definitely one I'm going to start picking up. That's, this is a, this is, this guy was the, is to me, we, me and Ron both actually talked about this earlier. Might be got something good for a snack if you just want something. Peanut butter crackers. Just yeah, if you're if you're into you want to grab some peanut butter crackers, throw them together real quick. Got a lot of people. Yeah. Got a couple of friends coming over. You probably throw together a bunch of peanut butter crackers out this little bit. You know. Yeah. Peter Pan. That's that's preference. Yeah. If you like the thicker stuff. If you like the thicker peanut butter, that's a look that sticks to your ribs. You really feel like it sticks to you more. Then maybe the Peter Pan's best. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna stick with the clover from that one. I, I think that's the that, that really, to. I was pretty shocked about this one. I didn't think it would be good, but it's actually a great peanut butter. Is this the first time you ever bought it? First time I've ever tried it. Did this swing you over now? Yes, it has. It's what was your first, really, what was your previous brand? Uh, usually I use Reese's. Now, is, is Reese's more? Yeah, it's more of this, It's more like the Clover, more smooth. It doesn't stick as much. doesn't stick as much, goes down well. You don't really need a, no, I can get a spoonful of that. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm like the Clover, I don't mean nothing right. Now, is it cheaper than Clover? No. More expensive? Yes, it is. Ooh, so yeah, this might have won out over Reese's then for you. It might have. I'm not sure. I'll have to, I'd have to try that side by side with Reese's and see. Might be a good one for you to try at home. It on. might be a nice little thing for me to try at home. Well, peanut but butter aficionados, go for it. And like I, and like I said, it's all opinion based. But sounds like we got a bargain. Mm-hmm. So until next time, see you later.